Hello Panthers, this is Mr. Lamas, the Tech Teacher, and in this video I want to show you how to create an action figure in Tinkercad. So let's get started. I'm here in Tinkercad. I want to start a new design. Tinkercad has these little action figures that um, you can customize. Now they're not your traditional action figures that you might see in the store that can move their arms and legs and all kinds of things. But they're just really basic and you can decorate them. Okay, so I want to click on the right hand side, basic shapes, and look for creatures and characters. And if we scroll down, we've got a couple options right away off the bat. If you click on more shapes, you can see there's even more options. All right, I'm going to choose this character for this example of the video, but you can choose any of these. Let's click on them, place them on our workspace. Using my right click, I can move it around and see what kind of ideas do I want. Well, I want to give them some eyeballs. Let's start out with some eyes. Click on the eyes. Let's place it on the workspace. I'm going to zoom in, rolling my mouse wheel. And we're going to click on this black arrow again really want to uh, use a mouse when working with Tinkercad and notice that I made a mistake right now I used the back arrow there so let's raise this guy let's raise it a little bit more and then we can click on it and push it back we're almost there you could also use the arrows on your keyboard Okay. And there it is, it's touching. When you make some um, details on your figures, a lot of these details you want to have them flush with the body of the figure so that way when it prints it doesn't fall off. Here's the other eyeball. Raising it. Now let's place it. You see, just like that. I'm going to make this one go in just a little bit deeper. There we go. Let's give him a hat. Now I see one hat. Are there others? Yeah, there's others. But I'm just going to click on this one for now. It might be a little bit too big from the get go. But let's see how this works. Okay. going to raise it a little bit more and then I'm going to use these corners and start shrinking it a little bit it's a little bit too big there we go just gotta play around with it make adjustments you decide when it's good enough it might not be perfect but that's okay we're learning and we're practice, practicing. Now let's get him some hands. Okay. I'm raising it with the black arrow and then with the mouse, pushing it back. Let's lift it up. The hand's a little bit on the big side. Let's shrink it a little. There we go. He's giving us a peace sign. Maybe I need to make it a little larger so it covers that arm. I don't want to go too big. Again, does it have to be perfect? No. But close enough, right? Peace. Okay. Then he's got. Is there a closed fist? I thought I saw one or a regular fist. Yeah, there we go. Let's raise this. Push it back with the mouse. Let's compare. Uh, right around there. That'll work for now. Again, is it perfect? Not necessarily, but it's close enough. Okay. Now let's get him some feet. We can get him chicken legs. We can give him. I know there's regular shoes in here. Oh, there's a shoe. And let's maybe attach it like that. Now here's the thing, if you want to raise him up so that he sits better or stands on the shoes, 
let's scoot this over. Let's click and drag all of him and let's group it together. So now if I raise him up, everything is attached. So that'll make putting the shoes on a little bit easier. Okay. I just adjusted the shoe, but that's all right. There we go. Again, is it perfect? No, but I think I could make it a little bit better. I made it a little bit wider. There we go. Maybe we gotta stretch it back a little bit more. What will be nice is that if it's connected, he'll stand up nicer. If you don't put any feet or shoes on your characters, they won't stand very well. Now here's a trick. You can press Control D on your keyboard and you'll make a copy of what you just made. Control D. And I made a copy because, well, I want the shoes to be as close to exact as one another and it'll be easier to place them on. I'm using the arrows on my keyboard there to move that back a bit. And there you have it. I'm going to click and drag all of that and group it all. So now wherever I move my character, there he is. Now friends, there's so many customizations, so many other extra pieces that you can put on your little characters, your action figures. Explore, try them out, see what you can come up with. Oh look, there's a little monster feet, animal paw, that would have been pretty cool. But anyhow, um, I hope this helps you create your own action figures, your characters, customize them, have fun with this, good luck. See you next time. Bye for now.